Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brian or Gamer Forever here and welcome back to some more Madden 22 franchise. This episode we're going to probably not be playing any games, but we are probably going to be doing most of the offseason, if not all of it, including the draft. So if that's your kind of thing, stick around for this episode. If not, uh, we'll probably see you in the next episode or two for the actual gameplay. But anyway, we have a couple of upgrades after Super Bowl weekend. Riley Welsh, we're going to give him some improviser. Just make him a little better at uh, those situations where he rolls out, throwing the run, throwing under pressure. That's what I'm talking about. We I mean, need to get his play action up. Bobby Peoples. We're going to give him field general. We're almost high enough where we can get him a second ability. Jonathan Ward, our crazy good wide receiver. We're going to give him route running. He needs more route running skills. Deep and medium. Ooh, what's that bring him up to? So 83 deep without the... Uh... Yeah, 83 medium, 83 deep, 82 short without morale. So that's pretty nice. Quitty pay. We're going to give him power rusher, make him go up to an 80. Let's go. That was a good trade. Good trade. Power moves went up by two. He's up to 82. We need to get his finesse moves up, maybe. Um, our center, we're going to give some agiles to. He's up to a 78 without morale. Uh, which isn't bad. BJ McDaniels. We're just going to keep giving him zone. I know it's not to our scheme fit, but listen. Awareness and tackle. Ah. I was trying to get his... Uh, zone coverage into the 80s without morale. Without morale, it's like 77, so that's unfortunate. John Ross. We're going to just give him deep threat, keep him as good as we can. He's aging. So we're going to have to be looking for our John Ross replacement, potentially, in the draft. There we go. Now... When do we get Super Focus? Week 11 was our first one. For agent recap, we get our private workout. So we have a little bit to figure out who we want to bring in on some of that. Staff moves. Did uh, anyone interesting leave? Uh, okay. Show me the head coaches who got fired. The Broncos head coach. Kevin Stefanski, the Browns coach, got fired. Uh, Irvin Meyer, Jags, got fired. Okay. Interesting. Pete Carroll retired at 71 from the Vikings. He didn't get fired. He retired. Mike Zimmer fired. Jets head coach got fired. The Jets immediately <laughs> fired Irvin Meyer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... And the Vikings hire Robert. Uh, oh. So, the Jets immediately fire this guy, hire Urban Meyer, and then the Vikings hire the old Jets coach. Okay, sure, sure. Makes sense. I understand. And I'm not at all confused why this happened. We're going to go into manager staff points. We have 122 available. What do we need? Wow, we've been playing without the ability to equip X-Factors on our team, apparently. Or are these new coordinators? I don't remember. Um, but we're going to give them those abilities. Where are we at here? We got a lot. Uh, we're going to upgrade the hometown discount. Go back over here. Defense, offense. I like our defense going up better, so I'm going to go down this path, I think. Offense is pretty easy to improve, so we're going to go just balls to the wall, spend lots of coach XP. Hit that. And now we're down to three staff points. Excellent. 
our, our coordinators are basically all garbage. It's all me and the scout team. <laughs> um, next to the resign players portion. Now we do have a big time franchise tag that has to be made. We have to see if there's anyone we can negotiate with last chance. Um, any retirements actually that could be interesting. Vaughn Miller, the Falcons retired. Jeez, Calais Campbell, Jared Cook, Kyle Long. Doesn't seem like anything for us, though. Yeah, nothing for us. Okay, we're all right. We're all good. Interesting couple retirements, though. Players ready to negotiate. We have two. Um, 86 overall. 29 years old. 18 mil to franchise. David DeCastro, we're letting walk. We're letting a lot of these guys walk. I think I am going to franchise tag him until he's 30. Maybe look to trade him this season if he doesn't perform well, but he's, he's regressing. And then as a backup... You actually aren't bad. And then we're not gonna... We're gonna let you walk, I think. Since we just franchise tag Dionytus. And he is regressing. He's down to an 86. He was a higher than that. So we'll franchise tag him for a season. Maybe see what happens. Oh, man. That hurts. I hate franchise tagging people anyway. Mock draft. I don't think we have a very high uh, graphic. It has a... Has a couple of quarterbacks going. Dolphins apparently looking for a new quarterback. Lions, that makes sense. Uh... Another quarterback for the Lions? That doesn't make sense and probably won't happen. So they need to fix the mock draft. Uh, yep, 32. That's about where we would be. We'll have to see. Um, I don't know if we traded for any draft picks. Uh, let's see. NFL roster. Do we have any extra draft picks or is it just our normal draft pick situation? Um... We have the Indianapolis 4th, no 5th, and 6th, no 7th. Okay. So we might be looking to make moves. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Advancing into the offseason, we have free agency, we have combine results. Um, we have 66 mil. Let's see who's here. Quentin Nelson is here. Ooh, that would replace Titus Howard pretty nicely. Aaron Rodgers is here with no offers. Kyler Murray is here with no good offers. All right, first of all. How good is that about what he's expecting? Oh, that puts us way in the lead. Hold up. Let's offer 50 mil. Where's that put us? Wow, we're still super far in the lead on Quentin Nelson. I don't want... What about that? Man, how are we so far in the lead? Oh my lord. Bring the... Bring the signing bonus down to, like, 6 mil and see where that puts us. Because, holy shit. Okay, that one made us jump, but we're still so far in the lead. Can we get away with offering him, like, 8.56 mil? This is so cheap. I was willing to pay him so much money. Okay, yeah, see, now we're fit. Okay. Go back up to 9 mil. 6 mil signing bonus. This actually isn't bad. And that puts us just above the Seahawks. 
Um, no one is offering on Rogers, so I'm going to do something insane and see if maybe... There's no way Rogers accepts this. Rod Rogers wouldn't accept this. That would be insane if he did. Yeah, he's not going to accept that. That's an absolutely horrendous offer. We're going to make a real offer to Kyler Murray. I say real. We're going to make an offer to Kyler Murray because I might have a way to trade up in the draft. <laughs> Twenty three mil of our camp because we don't need much. Yeah, yeah. Montez Sweat is here. Hmm. Nicole Hardman is here. No, <laughs> that's our John Ross replacement if we can get him. He gets a real person offer. Oh, we're so far ahead of him. God, we're so far ahead of them. Why are we so far ahead? Bring it down to like four. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Raheem Mostert would be a fun backup. Debo Samuels here. We we've already offered on our our one guy. I don't have the salary cap left to offer on Montez Sweat because I'm actually offering real money on Kyler Murray. I think we might just withdraw on Kyler. Like, I don't think we're going to get that. Um, there's too many people that are going to make him a really good offer. I'm so surprised the Cardinals let him walk. Now, just keep in mind, this is not real offer. This is trade offer. I don't want to... I don't want to offer for Kyler long term, but... If I get Kyler long term and can't come to a deal, backup quarterback might be nice. Well, we'll do it like a two year contract, I guess. Cause... Wow. There we go. <laughs> our, our, our negotiations are ridiculous. Uh,. We're not going to get most of these guys. Um, Hardman, maybe. We made real money offers to the offensive lineman. If we can get him, he's our Titus Howard replacement, and we'll have a trade offer for Titus Howard here real quick. JC Treader, we don't need. David DeCastro. Oh, I don't have any right guard. Oof. Do I, do I bring back David DeCastro on, like, a super shitty deal? <laughs> Okay, we'll see if he accepts that. Um, there's actually a decent amount of defensive ends here f to offer on, I'd like to offer. But I think we'll see how it goes. Very Smith, we have a Luakun. We don't need a middle linebacker. We might sign one as a backup. We don't need cornerbacks. Our cornerbacks are solid. We don't need safeties. Our safeties are amazing. Yeah, I think I think that's our free agency here. Um, we got the combine results. We'll check those out here after the first week or so.
Somebody returned from injury. I think that was our left tackle. Okay, who'd we get? Quentin Nelson rejected? Well, we got David Castro back. He's the only one I made real offers on. We got Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> we got Nicole Hardman. Why did he reject me? That's that's actually upsetting. Quentin Nelson, we made an actual offer on. Oh, you bastards. Ah, oh, man. So Kyler Murray is really the only one left. Do we go for Kyler Murray as trade bait? We're just trying to screw the Patriots out of a quarterback. Oh, <laughs> uh, four year. Does that improve it by enough to go over the Patriots? Almost. We had like... We had like a tick there. Does that do enough? No. Why are we fighting for Kyler Murray? We have an amazing quarterback already and we're fighting for Kyler Murray. And we signed Aaron Rodgers to just garbage a contract. We're actually going to be able to trade up in this draft. This is ridiculous. Why am I doing this? This is this is a waste of my money, but... Come on. Kyler! Join with me, Kyler. Ah, Patriots. 28 mil might be enough to get it done. Yes! <laughs> now, as we've seen, that's not a guarantee. Quentin Nelson turned us down hard, so that sucks. Um, but yeah, let's see. Who do we interested in? Let's see. We don't need a quarterback. <laughs> Please, we don't need a quarterback. Um, this dude's really fast. I am interested in him. He looks okay. Uh, 22. He's not bad. Spec catch, medium round. He might be a good catching back out the backfield. He's okay. I like these top two wide receivers. You've fallen a little bit. He's only 21. He's the fastest running back. He's got D short route, B injured, B awareness, B catch. Uh, th these top three wide receivers, I'm actually liking. A lot of them are pretty solid. 6-1. He's a power back. F, medium route. B, break. B, carry. Eh. See, okay. If they have an F, I usually pass. Like, I know it's not an important route for him. He's the fourth fastest. He's 23, so he's a little worse. D, juke move. F, spec, K. A, a break tackle's nice, but... I'm going to have to pass on him. Nope. He had a couple Fs. That means he's probably overall pretty low. Uh... Oh. Okay, he could be interesting. He's 23. Not very good athlete. We'll probably pass on him too. A injury, but F on some important. Eh. So he's not going to be hurt very often, but he's not going to be very good. Pull back, we don't need. Wide receiver, we did have him hearted. Um, we were looking at potentially taking a wide receiver. He's actually pretty fast for a 6'4 guy. There's no way we get him, though, which kind of sucks. Um, with the signing of Nicole Hardman... I don't know that we need a wide receiver. I'm going to be honest. This guy's 6'4". Uh, he's kind of... I don't know. He's top in a lot. The broad jump, the vert jump, the bench press. But he's not very elusive. 
I don't know, we'll put a heart on him if he falls to us later, maybe. We just don't really need wide receiver. Tight end? We got Bevan Jordan. We do like him, but it's always nice to keep our options open here. F stamina, man. There's a backup tight end that might be alright, but... 6-2, a lot of 6-2 tight ends in this class. This guy looks pretty, pretty fast. A pass block, D stamina isn't good again, but we know a lot of his... We don't know a ton about his catching skills. It gave us a lot of his blocking skills, which actually look pretty okay. Fights for every yard, great at snagging passes. I don't know, I don't know. We'll think about him. He might be okay later. This guy's 6'4", so he got the height. He's left-handed. Sixth in speed, A awareness, F impact block, C catch and trap, C run block. Ah, man. He's known to attract flags. He's slow. Terrible at pass block. Doesn't get injured a lot though. And the other skills looked okay. He might be okay, but we'll see. Six five. Super slow. A catch in traffic, but he does get injured. Oh man. Okay. We have some favorite guys here. How did he do? I don't remember why I favorited him. It's been a while. Done to attract flags is unfortunate. F stamina, not a very good blocker. Man. Okay, so far it's not great. We do need a guard now that we got screwed on Quentin Nelson thing. Can't believe he left us there. This guy doesn't look bad. For especially in the later parts of the, the round. He looks okay. Known to attract flags. Uh, and you don't... Like, out of all the people, you don't want that new offensive lineman, man. Like, okay. So we know this guy's a scheme fit. He's known to attract flags. God damn it. D injury. Oh, we... Mm, that sucks. That sucks. It really does. Known to attract flags. It's pretty quick for a guard. B injury, A lead block, A run block finesse, B run block power. Okay, he looks really good for run blocking. Whether or not that translates to pass block, I don't know, but that's not bad. I like his stats. This guy avoids flags. But he's bad. Center. We could always take a center, move him to guard. Ooh. Uh, no go trank flags, okay. D injury, though. He has a lot of A's, but he has D injury. Oh, oh I didn't mean to do that. Man. He looks good. But he's gonna get hurt. He's with D injury. He is going to get hurt at some point in the season, and you just can't rely on that. This guy avoids getting flagged. Very quick for a center. Ooh, I don't know his injury. We we might we might see where he's at because he could move to guard with those kind of stats. You avoid getting flagged. You're okay on the stat. Awareness. You're bad at pass blocking. We do a lot of passes, man. Yeah, and most of these guys down here aren't going to be worth too much. Short tackle. There's only one guy that's supposed to go above that. He doesn't get flagged. He's pretty quick. A stamina, A pass block finesse, A lead block, C pass block. B awareness. He looks okay. We'll add him to the option pool. Um, do we need defensive ends? We kind of do, but 
Yeah, see, F injury. Probably the problem with our our problem with our defense is that they get injured a lot. So this guy's slow. But he has A power moves, A injury, A pursuit. He's slow, but he's strong. But he's at he's weirdly agile. Six six three oh nine. I would consider oh, 309. I might consider he might be a 3 4 def or defensive end, or he could be a tackle in our scheme. We'll have to consider that. We'll have to consider that. Um, just bad. Just bad. Oh, man. This episode's going to run a while because this is just how you have to do it now. There's no longer quick scouting. I like the scouting, though. Ooh, he's got some elite acceleration and agility. Injuries a C, but his tackles an A. He's going to be gone before we get to pick him. But a late first round guy, maybe. Oh, but this guy looks better. Um, it's not very strong, but he is overall athletic. But he's A in hit power. That's kind of weird. Morgan looks interesting. I don't know if I'm going to add him to my board, but he looks interesting. We have this guy, Hearted. He's okay. I don't know why he's Hearted. He has an F in injury. It must have been before we got that. Yeah, we're taking that off. That's unfortunate. They, if they if they have F and injury and we know that, we, we just can't draft them if we know they have injury concerns. It's our problem now. Defensive tackle. Quincy Hill's supposed to go top five. Ooh. Power moves, tackle, C injury. He looks like a beast. There's not a lot we need on defense, I don't think. His skills overall don't look bad. A power, A play rex, C tackle, C block shedding. Interesting. Uh, I don't know, a couple positions here and there. We just don't need linebacker. Unless we wanted to grab a backup for injury purposes. But we can do that in the later rounds. Yeah, there's no... There's no linebackers. We don't need cornerback. We didn't scout them insanely. Free safety, strong safety. We just don't need... Alright. I think... We might be good to advance. I'm not even sure what this team needs. A guard... Some in. It says cornerback, but why does it think we need a cornerback? The guard I agree with. Why cornerback? I guess we're aging at cornerback, maybe? Okay, if I can find a late guy, like a third round, I might consider cornerback for depth. But I don't need a high first round guy. Like, this guy, probably not going to be there.
Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll 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 look at it. We don't need to we don't need to keep looking at it. This video is already thirty minutes long. Uh, General Williams is back. Let's see what happens next week. Kyler Murray has accepted. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what are we doing with our life? Um. All right, so I had a few that I was interested in. I want to see what this center looks like. Uh, I wanted to see what this guard looked like. And there was an end, right? There was a few... Maybe this defensive tackle over the defensive end? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Kyler Murray has accepted our offer. That's insane. <laughs> um, so our top needs are guard, end, and... It says cornerback. I mean, let's see. Uh, is there anyone we could make an offer on for depth? Raheem Mostert might be nice. Just give him like a. Oh God. Give him like a super cheap contract. If he wants to sign it, he can sign it. If not, whatever. Yeah, he's not gonna. Uh, we can increase this to like two mil and still be safe. If he wants to accept it, he can. Um, we did get David DeCastro back. <laughs> oh no. Um. We need a middle linebacker to back us up. Mm. Kenny Young. He's 27. He's only got 85 speed. Ah. We'll, we'll we'll see we'll, we'll we'll see what it what the uh, happens in the draft. There's a few that are okay. I can't believe we just got Kyler Murray and Aaron. Rod well, de we're definitely trading at least one of them. We'll see. Kyler Murray is gonna have a lot of trade value. So, yep, there goes the EA servers. Usually happens at this point. Yep. Love that. Love that. Sign in the EA Tom Brady in the middle of his walking up just magically turns into me. We'll go back to our franchise. See, I'm in quite a few of them. And options. Mock draft 5, free agency recap. Raheem Mostert accepted. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Huh, interesting. Alright, what's the not draft got? Okay. It has the Jets taking our defensive tackle that we're kind of interested in, so... All right, we're going to start the NFL draft. The Dolphins now on the clock. And then we're going to immediately pause it. And we're going to try. I don't know if we can trade the Dolphins.
they it has them taking the quarterback. Okay, if we can get three first rounds for Kyler Murray, this would be insane. But I don't think we will. It'd put them over the salary cap limit, which is unfortunate. What about Aaron Rodgers? No way, right? Yeah. What about just like that? Okay, they're, they're somehow interested. Uh, what if I gave you like my third? Uh, actually, we plan to replace him, right? Titus Howard is on his way out, maybe? Titus Howard and Aaron Rodgers? No. Mm. We just signed him to a contract. Will this work? No, of course not. Yeah, I don't think we're getting this with the... We need to find someone who wants Kyler Murray, who can trade for Kyler Murray. Uh, the Lions would not be able to, but they have significantly higher draft picks. Oof, Jared Goff. Oh! Oh, this is ridiculous. I think I can get this. I can get this through. And then I have Jared Goth and I can do something. No, oh, they don't want a running back. Uh, what do they need? A wide receiver? I might have. I don't know who this is. Do you want a 59 overall wide receiver for some reason? Nah, I don't know why I consider that. Okay, so we're gonna have to give one of our one of our young guys. I think it's gonna be him. They don't want him either. It says they need a wide receiver. Take one of my wide receivers. Hmm. I could give them a draft pick. How about John Reed? They have interest in him. But not enough to put this over the top. Don't have a right end. Backup right end interested? Oh, they're interested. Okay, so what if we give them our backup right end and then we give them, like, a sixth? I'd be okay parting with a sixth. I'd be okay with this draft. Oh! Oh, man. Okay. What's going to take to put this over the top? I will suppose a quarterback and a fourth. Ooh, maybe. Then what if I give you that, uh, this guy? Dang it. This is just a video of me trading for things. Oh, it's going to have to take a third, isn't it? gonna take a third it's not even gonna get done with a third ah! a second gives makes me give up way too much value um Who's somebody that they might want? They need a right outside linebacker. This guy's young. They're not interested in him, though. No. 
I just need something to get me over the top. I'm not giving them peoples, obviously. Hill? Probably not going to, right? Yeah, no. Uh... He's already on their board. Ooh. That's not gonna put it over, no. I don't want Ionitis in on that trade. I like Bernard. Is Blacklock a trade? Charles Owenu played really well. Is this the trade? They don't want Blacklock. They want a winner? No. Is it going to take my backup left end as well? No. Oh, man. What's it going to take? I don't want... Do I have position on this? Is it going to take... Is this the Titus Howard trade? No, not even enough. But do they want Titus Howard more than they want the right end, maybe? I'll give up a third. Titus Howard. Kyler Murray. No. Jared Goff. Be a good trade piece, but I guess he's just too expensive but i need to find someone they'd be willing to trade that costs them a lot of money Ooh. taylor decker 14 mil frank rag now see he's not even enough Panay Sewell. Ooh. romeo aquora trey flowers if their contracts are bad man they're, they have bad contracts It's weird they wouldn't even consider this. Uh, the only one I can see is maybe Taylor Decker. Okay. <laughs> it went through. Wait. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That stupid salary cap bullshit. It's so dumb. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in that case. Hmm. That that's that's really annoying. They're probably not going to accept this, but. Oh, see, that one would work. Uh, I didn't mean to give. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did think that would work, and now I'm confused. So I need to make a deal that wouldn't put someone below the salary cap right away. But I don't. The thing is, I don't think without a player, anyone has. Oh, the Falcons have half room. And they're in the market for a quarterback. Ooh. Yo. But they have such bad stuff. They have such bad draft picks. Kyle Pitts, though. <laughs> Montez Sweat. AJ Terrell Jr. Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't have to draft a corner or cornerback anymore. <sighs> Kyler Murray. I'd want a bunch of draft picks, but all right, all right. If they accept this,
They did. Okay. Oh, but it it's that stupid salary cap thing. Oh my god, they actually were down. Well, all right. Looks like we're not going to be able to trade Kyler Murray because I don't I think the only ones we could actually trade him to right now are the Falcons. I don't think anyone else Ooh, maybe the Jags. The Jags theoretically. They can't consider it either because of salary cap reasons. The Packers. We just took Aaron Rodgers and then this happened. Nope, Packers can't do it either. So I'm not sure what the salary cap restriction thing's about. They let us trade Rodgers. But Kyler Murray can't. So... Yes, we have Kyler Murray now. Um, we don't really have anyone else on our team we're looking to trade except maybe Titus Howard. Uh, he's looking to go. David DeCastro is temporary too, but we had the franchise tag Ionitis, so we're not going to find anyone for him. Ooh. Double green for these guys. They have pick 10. Two first. No. That'd be asking a lot. Just your first? No. Wait, how did two first... Wait, was two first higher than one first? Hold up. No, okay. And then what if I threw in, like, a second? Oh. I didn't think that would go through. Well, Titus Howard and Ionitis are gone. Okay. Well. I don't get this game sometimes. Okay. So we pick at 10. Dolphins. Quarterback. Quarterback. Who do they have their eye on? Okay, here we go. There goes that wide receiver. Man, our defensive tackle that we wanted is supposed to go super soon. He looks good. He does have some slight injury concerns. Can I trade up to get him? I have to trade with the Jets, and I don't know that I can do that. So let's see, what do the Jets want? Okay. My first. Uh, <laughs> the Jets first. Yeah? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Uh, my backup center. Could I trade my backup center for and move up five spots? Ooh. A seventh next year, my backup center move up five spots. Let's go! Okay, we're I think unless we get screwed over by the Vikings, we can move up and take our guy. On the clock now. Okay, we did not. All right, I think this defensive tackler is our Ionitis replacement. He looks really good. He only has C injury, which is a little concerning, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Yeah. Hidden Dev. He looks really good. He has 95 strength. That's what we were looking for. A power moves, a block shed. Like he, he should be a monster. We're gonna take him. I, I'll. We're gonna take him and be happy with that. Okay. The Browns. Max Townsend, another quarterback. The Browns the go cornerback. Okay. First cornerback off the board. Cardinals the take a wide receiver. Was that the guy we were thinking about? And now we turn to the Lions go middle linebacker, Steve Jones. Okay. 
This is the Jets. They traded back. Let's see what they're looking to take. They missed out on our the they went Seahawks. cornerback. Time is ticking. The Bears Wide receiver. All right, it's the Eagles cornerback. The clock. Lots of cornerbacks. Right, next up, Another Bucks cornerback. On the clock. Bucks. On the clock now. Wide Bears. receiver. Okay. All right, what kind of draft picks do I have right now? Weird. All right, so I don't pick a. I pick a, this pick, thirty second, and then second pick I get fifteenth. Hmm. This guy looks okay. Get a lot of A's. Uh, that right guard we were potentially looking at. The running back's still here, but with our recent signing, I'm not sure we need it. We have our backup. Um, man, what do I need? What should I consider here? We got, let's see. Cornerback. Kyler Murray, we have a potential trade for. We don't have a left guard. Center, right guard. This might be the draft to address that. We took a defensive tackle for the future. He looked good. Guards. Hmm. This tackle looks really good. But I think he could play guard. I think he could play guard. And we're going to take him with that in mind, I think. Hidden Dev. 76 speed. Okay. I'm happy with that. 86 strength. I, I I think he can. I think we're gonna move him to guard. I think that's his plan. Um, go. there goes a left end. The Another quarterback the off the board. The Patriots <laughs> still Kyler Murray for. The they take wide receiver. Okay, we were looking at maybe taking him at some point. The There's another middle linebacker gone. Okay, wide receiver the gone. The quarterback the gone. What direction will they go? There goes the left outside linebacker. The Packers and, oh, the no, our right end. I was hoping he might fall to us at 32. Okay. He was something I was considering. Another middle linebacker. Lots of linebackers going pretty fast. Left end. Outside linebacker. Tight end. Okay, first tight end off the board. Left guard. Oh, is that the one we were looking at? I can't remember. Quarterback. The Saints are on the clock. Now. Linebacker. Will they go? Saints go D tackle. Okay. Okay. I think one of the lo or the offensive linemen we potentially had our ions gone. This could be a position to take a backup running back. We don't need though. We might have a trade to get a tight end. This could be a position to take Bryce St. Louis. He looks good. I like Bryce St. Louis. Um, this could also be a position to take this left guard. He is known to attract flags. 
but he does look really good. And I think in the interest of the future, we will take the left guard. Hidden Dev, 72 speed, 85 strength. He looks actually pretty good. Change of direction is pretty bad, but okay. It's the Lions now on the clock. Okay, I do. I want Bryce St. Paul as well. I don't know. Where is he? He is the top right us or right end so he might not fall to us on the clock now wide receiver some time is ticking and now half back finally goes all right next there goes up, another half back on the clock is that all the halfbacks gone that we were potentially looking at no we have this guy 21 year old he's the fastest but I don't think I'm going to take him with the second pick. Unless he, like, really falls into the third round, potentially, maybe. Okay, the Jaguars there goes the tight the end. All right, it's the Browns now on the there goes the left end. Are we going to have to make a move? Hmm... We might have to make a move up a couple of spots. Okay, here we go. The Cardinals now on the clock. All right, now on the clock. No, the Cardinals took him. Oh. Okay. Cardinals took him. Let's see who's here. Oh, there goes our running back run one pick before us too. Oh man. Oh, that's upsetting. Uh Is this the center spot? Center looked really good. We just traded away our main center. Yeah, I'm going to take him. He's also got hidden dev. Okay, this is a really offensive line heavy draft class. <laughs> All right, we're uh, skipping ahead to our next user pick where we're probably going to take a s On the clock now, the cornerback maybe? Corner or middle linebacker as a backup. Nobody else that we... Oh, well, we have another left tackle. Huh. That's interesting. Um, we'll keep that in mind. Um, I think we want a cornerback, maybe a young guy. This guy looks like he has the. He was predicted to go the highest, but let's see, fourth fastest cornerback. Okay, but not very good stats. Man, that's a problem. Always looking to intercept passes. I like. Super slow. F injury? No. <laughs> um, Glenn always also looking to intercept passes. A little slow. A injury, but pretty bad skills overall, to be honest. Um, about you. Okay, he's pretty fast. Mostly C's. And B. It's probably going to be 60s. Mm, you're, you're not, no. Okay. He actually doesn't look bad. He's not the fastest. He's probably going to be 88, 89 speed, I would think. But he's got decent tackling, got hit power. He's going to be... I'm, I'm going to take this guy. He actually looks good. Oh! Oh, a hidden gem! Jeez, okay. 91 speed. That's faster than I thought he would be. 92 change of direct. 91. 94 excel. Okay. Oh. I was just <laughs> I was just looking for potential backup. Okay. I see you. Alright. Uh is that tackle still available? No, he's gone. Okay. Um Middle linebacker. The only real option left is this guy. Do we like this guy? He's the fastest middle linebacker in the class, but he's really garbage, but he's fast, so... Oh my lord! <laughs> oh 
what is going on? I just needed a backup to Peoples. I don't even... I'm probably not even going to use him. Oh, man. We've had a really good draft so far. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we got two more picks. These are probably not going to be good. We didn't get any defensive ends, unfortunately. Um, what are we looking to take here? Defensive tackle? We've had a really good draft so far, but... Day three. Day three. Yeah, everyone's going to be day three skills. Skill set or so. It's not bad physically. Stats could be better, but... Let's see. A play wreck. Keep flowers in mind for a second. F hit power. Uh, okay. You, I like flowers. We'll see. We have some stuff scouted here. Okay. Eh, no. That that play rack might might be the go to here. We're a injury. All right, we're getting another defensive tackle, boys. Normal dev at this point that's expected, but he didn't have too bad stats, honestly. There. Um, now we don't pick again till the sixth. This is probably just going to be a backup position. Um, what do I even take at this point? On the clock now, the Barons. What could What could I use? Mm. Don't need a cornerback. Lots of Fs on that one. Have to pay respect. Uh, Pearson. Okay. B man coverage. D power. You know what? I'll take him. Eighty speed. He doesn't look great, but I mean, backup guy. Good rotational. Sixth round, thirty second pick. So, you know. Could have been worse. I think we had a really good draft. Uh, honestly, that was a really, really good draft, I would say. Especially on some of those guys that we were just kind of maybe looking for some backups. Uh, we are just kind of yeeting on them. And uh, let's go ahead and look at what we got. If the game feels it's necessary to show us, it said no. Cool. I love when the game crashes. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, Hold on just one moment, guys. <laughs> the game decided to crash when it wanted to show me my rookies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that's really annoying. Come on, this will be a part of the episode, dang it. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, if you're still watching a blank screen for some reason, just, uh, we're loading the game back up. It's fine. It's fine, probably. Everything's fine. And is it back? Is it alive? Is it not dead? Okay. 
We're loading in. We're loading back in. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Madden just said, listen, we must eliminate you. EA Sports. It's in the game. <sighs> yep. It's in the garbage game. That's what it is. The garbage cave. We attacking better, stand back and watch a run, shotgun, come with the options, and big blitz, nobody blocking big wins. Sorry about that, guys. This video is already going to be hella long. I didn't want to have to cut it just to see the our draft picks and shit, so. And we're loading back in. We're going to see all the franchises again. I'm going to load in. Da, 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 da. And we're back. Draft recap. Please don't explode. Boom. Oh! We knew our defensive tackle was going to be amazing. And it turns out, well, once his... I don't know why his morale's down. He's an 81 overall. 81 run stopper. 80 power rusher. 76 speed rusher. 95 strength. He has 81 power moves when it morale's not affecting. 80 block shed, 71 finesse move. 74 speed's pretty poor, but 82 acceleration. Like he he's he's good. He he's he's our replacement for Ionitis. That's not bad. Um Weirdly enough, our third round pick is our ne our next best highest at 75 over. I don't know why they have morale. We literally just won the Super Bowl. Why are you mad? I mean, I know the Texans normally in real life I'd be sad about, but but yeah, this guy kind of came out of nowhere. 91 speed, 94 excel, 88 agility, uh, 91 jumping is pretty cool. Injuries only 82. Oof. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks good. 75 hit power isn't bad for a cornerback. 75 man. He has 69 nice zone. 69 play rec. 71 press. Like, he, he, he'll he play pretty well. It's only 5'9", but that's fine. Uh, we That left guard we took, 74 overall. Offensive line. We did take in a lot of offensive linemen, so I expected a lot of mid-70s overalls. Um, 85 strength. 85 run block finesse. Oof, 85 lead block. About 75 pass block finesse. 75 pass block power. 68 normal pass block. 72 run block. 73 run block power. 72 speed. 85 acceleration. He looks good. Um, the center we took. 73 overall. Hidden dev. Like, he's just a backup. But he could play... We could start him... Anywhere on the offensive line, I'd probably be okay with it. He's got 91 injury resistance, too. Um, that tackle we took with the potential to move him to play guard. Is he better or is he worse than the other guard we picked up? I'm not sure. I think he's better. He's 76 speed, 79 injury. Is he better or is he worse? I think he's slightly better, but he get in you get injured more. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll find somewhere. Um And then heck, even even Flowers, who we took super late, we figured he wouldn't be very good. He's definitely not a speed rusher, but he's a power rusher and a run stopper. Like his 89 power moves. What? One power upgrade. He's in the nineties on his power moves already. Oh my gosh, he's only got 66 speed, 76 acceleration. He is not getting after a quarterback who scrambles to the outside. Um, he has okay pursuit. He doesn't get injured. Very he's actually he's actually pretty good. Um, wow, and we took him in the fourth. We took him after our middle linebacker draft, um, which is crazy. Uh, middle linebacker we took, 63 overall, but hidden dev. So we get him on some some plays. He's not he doesn't look like a 63 player. Is it his play rec that's bringing him down? Is that... I don't know. He doesn't seem that bad. Um he he's a backup anyway. Uh not a big deal. And then that sixth round guy that we took, normal dev, only 63 overall. He's probably, let's be honest, he's not gonna play. 
uh, took him purely for depth. He might not even make the team. Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll probably put the, uh, the right outside linebacker. All of these guys have potential starting abilities uh, outside of the middle and right. The middle is a straight-up backup. Um, and the right outside linebacker might be a practice squad player, but what are you going to do? Anyway, NFL. I assume... The 81 overall means we probably got the best player. Oh, it was close, though. Two picks after the cornerback who went was an 80 overall. Wow. Boy, does he look good. Dang. Yeah, we just didn't really look at cornerbacks at all. Which apparently we should have, because we have one right here. The running back, of course, went pretty high. Uh, we knew he was going to be good. He's only normal dev, though, so I'm okay passing up on him. Um, wide receiver went to the Broncos. Hidden dev. Not bad. Looks like another cornerback uh, who the Jets took. We traded up. The Jets took him in this position. Got another hidden dev. I'm actually okay with the one we got. This one only has 89 speed, which would make him very limited in his uses. Uh, so I'm actually okay with the one we got. Um, the one, the, the running back I was considering. Oh, he did have hidden dev. 93 speed, 95 excel. Yeah. He doesn't get hurt. Damn. The Saints got a pretty solid defensive tackle, but he's only normal dev. Dolphins got the best quarterback in the class. He does have hidden development. He looks okay. Interesting. Um, it was a very interesting draft class. Another cornerback, Bill Queen. Another hidden dev, 90 speed. Oh man, this I, I should have. Man, if I needed some cornerbacks. This was apparently the class. Ah, uh, there's the dude who went a few picks before what we got. He did have hidden dev. 82 speed, 90 excel. He looks okay. Didn't really have too many high power finesse moves, but I'm I'm okay with our draft. We had we had an amazing draft. Um, that was that was a that was a good draft. So we're gonna advance the week. We're gonna go into the preseason, and this is where I'm gonna go ahead and call it, guys. If you like this episode, leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you're new. We're gonna play. Um, I'm probably gonna play the preseason myself. Uh, and then you'll join me back here for the week one after we've made. Or probably preseason week four, where I make some decisions with the team and then play week one. We'll see. Um, anyway, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you're new. This has been a long one, and I'll see you guys all next time. Later, guys.